My name is Ron Crisp. The name of our organization is Rush Enterprises, and my role is HR Director of Tech School Engagement. So speaking to the essential nature of the work of skilled technicians, skilled technicians are always, are, are always essential to our business. Like I said before, technicians are the foundation of our company. Uh, you can't sell a truck without a technician. Uh, you need a technician to do those warrantable failures and that routine maintenance. You can't even sell parts without a technician. So as far as essential nature, they are probably the most essential employee to our business. So I've been with Rush Enterprises for over 15 years. I started as a technician. And over the years, I've only seen the demand for technicians increase. It's really like no other career field I've ever seen. And, and I know many other Rush employees that I began my career with and started at the same level that I did have also climbed the ladder and uh, due to their experience in the field. And I feel that, that hands-on experience where the business starts is the key to managing business once you get to that leadership level. So the job outlook for students who will be graduating from, from UTI, um, although hiring graduates has softened for us, we're pretty confident that we'll begin hiring tech school graduates again and at the same rate, or if not more than before. And uh, just to dovetail into something else is, is, let's face it, retirement rate of that baby boomer generation hasn't decreased. Any. If anything, during the pandemic, it's, it's increased. Uh, in order to ensure our growth, uh, we know that we need technicians from the current generation to grow the company. What do I look for when I hire technicians? Uh, that's an easy one. I look for three key things. I look for attitude, aptitude, and attendance. Does the technician have a can-do can attitude? Can he or she work well with others and take guidance? Does the technician have an aptitude to learn new things and get better at what they currently know? Uh, does the tech technician show up to work and are they on time? So one thing that we really look at first and foremost is uh, attendance. And if a student has great attendance, it's pretty likely that that will lead them to being a punctual employee. So advice that I would have for UTI grads and aspiring technicians is find a skill within the trade that you're interested in and that you can get good at. I'd say focus your efforts on becoming a specialist and capitalize on that skill. Uh, just as an example, if you're fascinated with transmissions and differentials and stuff like that, do everything you can to become the best gear tech in the shop. So we're a franchisee of several brands, Peterbilt, International, Cummins, and Ford. Uh, and of several others. Uh, so we're required by our manufacturers to keep our technicians trained and up to date on the latest technologies. Our technicians engage in online learning all the time and they also go to instructor led training. So I always tell students, school doesn't end on graduation day. Technology is always changing and we owe it to our customers to be up to date on the technologies. Customers expect more from their dealership partners and from Rush Truck Centers. So uh, our goal is to meet and exceed those customer expectations. UTI prepares graduates by providing an environment that's conducive to the expectations of employers. Keeping up with current technology is, is certainly number one, but professionalism is definitely a close tie uh, UTI students are, are not like any other tech school in the country. And uh, from dress code to code of conduct, basically, uh, UTI expects the best from their students. And as an employer, we expect the best from UTI. So how the industry is evolving, definitely more and more technology. Uh, diesel techs aren't known as grease monkeys anymore like they were in the past. It's way more than that. It's more than turning a wrench, more than getting dirty. Uh, technicians need to be cute, computer savvy. Every truck, as we know, has multiple computers in it. So the technician needs to be able to interpret fault codes with a computer. And then not only that, they need to be able to 
take that wrench and uh, correct the fault mechanically. So online curriculum uh, that you guys have, have currently added, uh, that will help students be prepared in the workforce. Lots of continued learning is done online at the dealership level. Uh, this isn't anything new for us. We've been doing that for years, uh, especially all the franchises out there, they, they require it. So online learning while in school will just help the student acclimate to continued learning that they're already gonna be doing once they hit the dealership level.